We are on the edge of String Lake here in Teton National Park. It's 5.30 uh, in the morning. We're waiting for the sun to come up. And today we are going to summit Mount Moran with the help of the CMC route. But we spent last night annoying everybody in the parking lot by pumping up our paddle boards. And then we drove to this parking lot this morning and pumped up one more paddle board and annoyed everybody in this parking lot. So we've been a real nuisance over the last 10 hours here in Teton National Park. Uh, but we'll be paddle boarding here across String Lake, then carrying our paddle boards over a little bit of land to Lee Lake, and then paddle boarding across Lee Lake to a scree slope, then up a scree slope to the CMC campground, to Drizzle Puss, and then hopefully to the summit. We've all brought a different shoe setup. I've got just approach shoes. Uh, I think they have a mixture of running shoes and rock shoes, and Aaron has approach shoes and rock shoes. And that's just because we have no idea what to expect. The level of difficulty, according to who you read, goes from you can do this in tennis shoes to you need to be roped up and take this seriously. Uh, and not knowing what to encounter means that you either bring too much or not enough. And if you don't bring enough, it means you don't finish your day. So we are bringing helmets, ropes, harnesses. Uh, we tried to split the difference. And if we encounter something we can't scramble up, we will have some rope to uh, help us. And for me, I'm actually more anxious about the paddle boarding than I am the scramble because I've hardly ever done it. And if I fall in, it's just, that's it, day over. Doing the CMC route today. Uh, I can't tell if I'm more excited to do the route because I've wanted to do it for a long time or if I'm more excited at the possibility of seeing Danny capsize on his paddleboard in a dark lake, <laughs> since it's like his first time paddleboarding. So we're just waiting around for some light so we don't hit those uh, boulders in the lake. Danny has never supped before. So this is where we watch him fall in. <laughs> There's no shame in kneeling, bro. I'm not afraid to kneel, but I just have to get past the... Uh... Yeah, flip the whole thing around and reverse it in. Well, I think I'm past. You're okay, okay. <laughs> There is actually shame in kneeling. I just said that so that you wouldn't feel quite as bad. currently paddle boarding across Lee Lake. And even though running the four miles and doing the bushwhack to the start of the scree slope would have been maybe a little faster, this definitely has been far more scenic and adventurous feeling. It's taken about this much paddle boarding for about 45 minutes for me to even begin to feel comfortable. And my worry about falling into this ice cold water with all of my gear has slowly been diminishing, which is just setting me up for falling in later. But we're almost to the scree slope and the sun's coming out and things are warming up and we're realizing how much smoke is in the air from all these fires on the West Coast in Utah and Idaho. But it's not so much we won't uh, be able to enjoy uh, Mount Moran. We got a good view of the objective on Mount Moran. Looks pretty intimidating and awesome. 
There's a mist coming off the water. Sun's starting to rise. There's elk bugling all around us. Danny hasn't fallen in yet, but hopefully that'll happen soon. We just finished the paddleboard section of the day. Nobody was submerged, which is the best we could have hoped for. When you're out on that water with all that mist, you feel like you're on an adventure. Now we're just gonna go straight up this mountain, basically, uh, up to the CMC camp and then Drizzle Puss, which we all enjoy saying. And then, uh, I mean, it's looking, it's looking pretty severe up there. I'm hoping that when I actually get my feet on it, it won't be as gnarly as it looks from here, but uh, we're gonna swap out some things, leave some things, and then head up behind me. come up 2,000 feet and this is the last water that we'll see until we come back to this spot. So we have roughly 4,000 more feet of climbing. We're gonna fill up all of our soft flasks and bladders here and carry it all to the summit. Maybe we'll leave a little water at Drizzle Hus, but this is the last place to get it. Five hundred feet below us, we began to taste the smoke, which is it's got a, an interesting tangy taste to it, like a chemical fire. We've gotten a good view of the face we'll be climbing, and luckily the perspective has changed since the lake, and now it looks like I can I can handle that. So this is a moment where I'm a little bit relieved because I think I can climb that. But we'll know soon enough once we get up and over our favorite peak, Drizzle Pus. I don't know what Danny's talking about because I look at that and I'm like, that is hella steep and it's super intimidating. Um, so apparently we have different perspectives on things. You can kind of see it's kind of it's pretty cool. You can see the the route that we floated in on. There's String Lake down there, a little portage, and then around the corner of Lee Lake. And if you squint, you'll see three paddle boards down there. We're looking down, trying to decide whether or not we're going to rappel, or we're just going to try and down climb, or we're going to partially down climb, get spooked, then wish that we had rappelled, then climb back up and go through the uh, webbing or chains or whatever might be here and then rappel. But um, again, I got a little closer perspective change now. Now the climb to the top looks more intimidating. What do you think, Aaron? I don't know. I might throw... So this first down climb off a of drizzle pus doesn't look too bad. So we're gonna give it a go. And then it uh, looks like you can kind of down climb around the corner and then we'll check it out from there. All right, my turn. So we just finished the down climb from Drizzle Puss and uh, 
We did it without ropes, but we're hesitant to call it a free solo because we had harnesses on. So we don't know if that counts or not as a free solo. So we'll just call it, we were harnessed without rope. <laughs> now we're headed up the legit face and it's looking spicy, but manageable. Took six hours to get here uh, from the car. So not the fastest people out there today, but definitely not bad. Summit of Moran. I get him and I meet him like What a climb. That was perfect. Right there in my comfort zone uh, about what I would do without a rope. I never really felt sketched. I never had the sewing le machine leg or whatever they call it. So cool looking down on the horns and the glacier. And uh, I mean, for a fun, Type one fun day, this is it. Paddle board, and then I think it's around three and a half to four miles up, and then about the same down with 6,000 feet of climbing. Right now we're at 12, just over 12 and a half thousand feet. So you don't get too beat up by the elevation. I'm eating some dry top ramen as a special treat. Down climbing is gonna be a whole new ball game. Should be exciting trying to down climb. We might repel, but knowing us, we'll probably just scramble back down. I've been perving on Moran, Moran since the first time I ever came through Jackson. And this is the second time I've been here in the last six months or so, once on skis, once on foot, and they've both been amazing. And the thing I think I'm mostly disappointed with is that I actually lost sleep last night because I was like, man, am I up for this, like to free solo this? And then it was actually pretty, pretty chill. So I lost sleep for nothing. Finally made it to the top of Moran and right now I'm standing on the top of that big black streak, that really prominent feature on the face of Moran. Been looking up at this ever since I was a kid, so it's pretty surreal to be right on top of it. Sometimes I think I get more nervous watching Danny or Aaron climb than when I climb. Watching someone else just makes you grip. <laughs> We've made it back to the notch between the slab, the CMC slab, and drizzle pus. Now we got to up climb drizzle pus, which I imagine after down climbing it and not falling, I think up climbing will be easier. At least that's the vibe I've always gotten from the mountain. The face that we climbed and then down climbed is right behind me, right over here. And looking at it right now, from this perspective, it's hard to believe that we down climbed that.
slowly drifting away on the paddle board. But we're back at Lee Lake. And now we've got to paddle board, probably an hour and a hour and a half of paddle boarding all the way back to our car. What a day. I feel like I always say this, but that was one of the best. <laughs> Such a magical day in the mountains today. With the smoke actually kind of made it a bit ethereal with some really cool light. And then uh, the paddle boarding added a nice element. Nice uh, mix up to kind of the standard running mountain uh, peak bagging. Almost 6,000 feet of climbing, five miles of pa uh, paddle boarding, nine miles or eight miles of hiking up to the top of Moran and scrambling. It was an adventure-filled day, that's for sure. Probably the most action-packed 13 or 14 miles I've ever done.